Happy Turkey Eve. I know some celebrate, some don't. Some have a big family, some don't. So I hope this Turkey Eve is treating you kindly and that you got the workout in. So, um, wanted to give you a few tips and I have no list, just stuff on the top of my head and I hope it helps you. So, um, I am actually hosting Thanksgiving for my family this year, which is really exciting. Um, and I'm so, so honored that, um, they allow me to do so. Cause normally my grandmother is all about the hosting life, but, um, my grandfather passed away last week. So, um, I, before I, it even happened, I offered because I just, I don't know, maybe I just had this feeling, you know, because I knew he wasn't feeling well. So I wanted to host it. And my grandmother said yes, so, because normally she's all about the host life. So I'm really excited everyone's coming over. So some tips for you. Um, make sure that you hydrate. Um, it's super important, especially if you're going to be busy running around and hosting. Make sure you have that water set aside for you. And I feel like, and then you definitely start off with hydration but first thing when you get in the morning because actually gets the things going down there if you know what I mean and also start your day off with a workout and don't feel guilty that you do you know go to a 5k I'm going to 5k tomorrow even though it's gonna be pouring rain and I get to pay when I show up I know some there's a gym in my area who's actually hosting a spin class tomorrow I love that and I want to say there's also a yoga studio that's open tomorrow too. So partake in an exercise in the morning. That way, in the back of your mind, it also helps motivate you to make good choices. So don't feel bad about taking care of you and putting the mask, face mask on you first. So start the day off with hydration. Number two, start the day off with also gratitude. What are you thankful for when you first get out of bed? Third tip, get that workout in. I don't care what you do, whether it's walk or push play at a home workout or do a 5K like I'm doing with my son, go to a spin class. Don't feel guilty that you're taking care of you. And you will practice that intuitive eating a lot better um, because of Thanksgiving. And so the other thing I would suggest also is uh, packed, I mean, have some healthy eats set up already tonight for tomorrow. So say you know you're gonna be having that pie and you know you're gonna be having that healthy mashed potatoes, um, healthy maybe two or three plates of it. Um, have some healthy eats during the day ready available while, so I don't mean to shake the phone, while you're waiting for your food to cook. You know, hummus and, um, carrots and celery, hummus and um, cucumber. Um, I don't I have salsa with me, but um, we generally have like a bunch of healthy eats anyways during the day. Um, so make sure you have healthy snacks prepared so that you can indulge a little bit later for dinner. I would definitely suggest eating your carbs in the evening because when you do it earlier in the day, it makes you more sluggish and tired and it makes you crave more sugar. The more carbs you eat, sweet potatoes, stuffing, ham, yams, whatever, the more sugar you crave. So definitely stick to a higher protein breakfast and lunch, eggs, bacon, kind of like a ketogenic lifestyle. Definitely stick to that and some good fats. It will keep you, your hunger at bay. So th those are just my tips. So like I said, hydration, if someone wants to type it below so you can remember or someone else needs to know, practice gratitude when you first wake up. Get your exercise in. Don't feel guilty for doing that, like I said. Have healthy eats prepared, because I know some of you are making pies tonight or whatever. Have healthy eats prepared. And make sure you start your, hey, yay. So make sure you also eat a more higher fat protein breakfast, like bacon and eggs. Um, Oh, sorry, my grandbaby. For me, I love drinking my protein shake because it keeps me satiated longer. I'll put like maybe a couple of ta tablespoons. Yes, I love it. A um, couple of tablespoons of um, coconut oil because when you eat a higher fat, um, high protein breakfast or lunch, 
it, it keeps your hunger at bay and you'll feel satisfied longer until dinner. So I'm not saying eat a pound of bacon, a couple of pieces of bacon and a couple of eggs, scramble them up, it's healthy for you. I'm a vegan, so I do scrambled tofu and veggies and also get your veggies in. Get you, the trick with veggies, you definitely wanna eat veggies before everything else um, because like say you're having a sa um, salad at your dinner, eat your salad first because it helps push everything down, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So that's another eating tip for you. Also, when you're eating dinner at, at this is something I've learned um, from just Beauty Tea Talk Solution book that I've read and it actually helps. Don't drink a bunch of water while you're eating. The reason why I say that, I know it's gonna sound odd, but it um, dilutes the acid in your belly. So it takes longer for your food to digest. So sip water. Don't do gobs and gobs of water while you're eating because it di dilutes the acid, so it'll take even longer for your food to digest. So that's just another water tip for you. So, and practice intuitive eating, meaning when you're at the table or step away from the buffet, go around and have conversations with people. You know, have, be in the present. Don't be all up in the buffet, because for me, a buffet is dangerous for me. So I try to step away, wash dishes, make sure everybody is, you know, have enough on their plate or have you know whatever for the drinking wine or whatever so practice intuitive eating don't feel guilty yes i know it's thanksgiving but don't feel guilty about indulging yes have that one piece of pie and then step away from the table and then you know have conversations with people that you've never ever talked to talk to in a long long time because i'm having family over that i haven't talked to in a long long time so um i don't see them every day so Make sure you be in the present, put the cell phone down, and be in the present with conversation. So I hope that helped. So don't feel guilty if you're gonna indulge a little bit, but get your water in, practice, get, get the hydration in. Um, I said that twice. Get your hydration in, <laughs> practice gratitude, get the exercise in first thing in the morning, have healthy snacks available, eat more of a higher fat. Um, yes. You're so awesome, Eileen. I love it. Have a higher fat, um, high protein breakfast because it keeps you fuller longer. So you can, you know, do what you got to do throughout the day. And try not to eat your carbs earlier in the day. Um, you know, if you're into bread or anything like that, try to hold off for dinner because the more carbs you eat, the more carbs you crave because it's sugar. So I don't know if you knew about that. And sip your water at dinner so that your stomach does not lose all the acidity and your food will digest quicker. I hope that helps. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for writing it out, Eileen. I really, really appreciate it. I kind of just flew off the handle. I didn't have anything prepared, but I was like, I need to tell my people. I need to tell my people some tips tonight. <laughs> so I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a great, great, fabulous Thanksgiving, and thank you so much for following my page. It means the world to me, and anything that you need, please send me a message. I'm here for you, rooting for you for your health goals. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm sending my love to you from Florida. It's going to be pouring down rain tomorrow during our race, So, and make sure you get um, moving tomorrow too, and I'll talk to you soon.